Okay, so Friday, Thursday, Friday's exit ticket, I asked you to calculate the GPE of a ball falling from the space needle. And I gave you the formula. Uh, potential energy due to gravity equals mass times gravity times height. I gave you the units of measure um, to help you work through this problem. All right, so we have a ball with a mass of 172 grams is falling from the observation deck of the Space Needle, which has a height of 164 meters. So one of the first things I like to do is find my values for that I'm gonna plug into my formula. So we need mass, oh, here's mass. So let's circle that or highlight it. And then I already know gravity, because gravity on Earth is always a constant of 9.8 meters per second squared. And we need the height, which is telling us height of 164 meters. Now, every problem isn't always gonna say mass or height, so knowing your units is gonna be super important. So now I'm gonna take those values and plug it into my formula. So I know the mass is they're telling me it's 172 grams, but our formula calls for kilograms. So let's just fill in the rest. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, and our height is 164 meters. All right, now you have notes to help you or keep your acronym straight. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Base, base for mass is grams, right? And here's kilograms. So that means I have to move the decimal point. One, two, three to the left. We know that 172 is a whole number, which means the imaginary decimal point would be here at the end. And then I have to move it. One, two, three. So now I have a value of point 172. I'm gonna now multiply that by 9.8, which then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna multiply by 164, this is already in meters, so I do not have to convert. When we calculate with our calculator, we get PE due to gravity equals 276.4384. Now we don't need so many numbers here, so we can simply have 276.44. Now, instead of writing kilograms times meters squared per second squared, we simply use joules. Or you can use the capital J. And that was all so easy. Easy, easy, I swear. Nothing too complicated. Now for the last question, uh, for number two and three real quick. Light energy is transformed into chemical energy. Light energy is a type of kinetic. Chemical is a type of potential. So when we go from kinetic to potential or potential to kinetic, we are transforming. Number three, independent variable is what you are manipulating or, or, or you are altering in an experiment.